hi to all of God's children and everyone else. I'm Marjorie Janvier and this is MJ's I Love Me Some Me. And you know I love me some me. I'm here at the Arizona Grand Resort. It is a beautiful uh, resort, a, a wonderful place that you have got to visit when you come to Arizona. If you come to Phoenix, go ahead and stay at the Arizona Grand Resort. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. You know, um, I love me some me is a very positive affirmation. When I say it, it belongs to me. It pertains to me. I own it, I own it. And when you say it, it's about you. It pertains to you, you own it. You know, when you're positive, you allow God's blessings to come into your life and they just flow into your life. Oh, this is a very, very busy place. I've got to be careful walking up here. There's a lot of cars coming in and it's really early in the morning. You know, the Grand Resort, the Arizona Grand Resort used to be called The Point. And some of the buildings around here still have the name uh, Point on them. Uh, uh, like this uh, office building here, it still has that name. They didn't change their name when um, the hotel changed their name. So, oh, 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 it's backwards, why is that? Let's see, maybe if I turn it this way, like that you can read it uh no i don't understand why the words come out why they come out backwards but anyway it used to be called the point so if you're wondering where the point is it's no longer here but the resort is still here just under a different name it's called the arizona grand resort and it is beautiful let me let you see some of the some of the landscaping here. This is just the beginning when you come in. And um, there are trees on both sides of the, the entrance when you come in here. It is just a wonderful place to be. And we're just in time <clears throat> for the beautiful fountain. As you enter the Arizona Grand Resort, there is a huge fountain. I'm gonna walk up to it. Uh, more cars coming in, coming, 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 coming. So many people like the Arizona Grand uh, Resort. Now let's get over to that fountain. Oh, <laughs> you gotta see that. But you know, <clears throat> we get together and we are together because we're strengthening our walk with the Lord. Right now I'm walking up to this fountain. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear, but it, I can hear it now more strong. Um, we are building a, foul, a firm foundation that is deeply rooted in the Word of God. And we have got to continue to um, take in more information that the Lord would have us do. So to get our tools so that we can remain strong in these last days. It's very important to have our tools. <clears throat> and here's the fountain. It is just so beautiful. Let's see, how can I, show? it's so bright. The lights around it are so bright. Maybe if I get closer, we can have a better look. We have got to have our tools. And you know, one of those tools is praying. We have to have a close and personal relationship with the Lord. Let's see if this is any better. Can we see that fountain? Can you see that fountain? Oh, there it is. I have to hold the candle, hold the camera in a certain angle so that you can see it. It is beautiful. In person, it is so beautiful. I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but in person, it's wonderful. And Arizona is a wonderful place to be. If you like warm weather, you need to come to Arizona. I wouldn't suggest that if you haven't been in warm weather, I wouldn't suggest that you come in the summertime because summer is too hot. I live here and I still haven't gotten used to the heat. <laughs> it's something else. And you know what? The, the, the word of God tells us about 
the heat that, that, that people are gonna feel if they are not choosing the right thing. You know, life and death is in the tongue. So it begins with you. You don't wanna feel that heat if um, you are not with the Lord. You know, it's gonna be really, really hot. Um, and together we're walking to strengthen our relationship with the Lord. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and say our um, first, our prayer. You know, the prayer that we're going to say every time we get together is the Lord's prayer. It is the prayer that Jesus told the disciples to say. Jesus, 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 hallelujah. There's power in that name. You know, that prayer is found at Matthew chapter six, verse nine. I'm gonna walk up the stairs here, closer to this fountain. Right there. Yes, I am right at the foot of this fountain. I'm right at the foot of this fountain. It's a, I just like the way it sounds. It's, it's so serene for me. Now, Jesus told his disciples to pray um, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, and I am going to pray that way. <laughs> let's get, let's commit it to memory. And when we say it, we're, we're going to say it together every time we get together because we're strengthening our walk and our close and personal relationship with the Lord. So would you say it with me? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go ahead and commit the Lord's Prayer to memory because that is the way that Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus told the disciples to pray that way. So we are going to pray that way. Down the stairs, and we're gonna just walk around the Arizona Grand Resort. I'm gonna walk around a little, <laughs> not too much. But anyway, there is someone, the security is riding around in there. Oh, riding around. There's a big, big truck coming through. Security is riding around. They are making sure that everything is secure. <laughs> this is a good place to be. If you're planning a visit to Phoenix, Arizona, make sure you visit the Arizona Grand Resort. All the palm trees, look at that. It's just beautiful out here. And I made, well, I called to make reservations to have my family reunion here a few years ago, but that didn't work out. That's why I'm, I'm always praying for families and my family. We are not as close as I would like to be. We are sociable, but we, are, we don't have a close bond like we need. And I don't mean my immediate family, my children. We are really close. We're closely knitted. And um, we do like any other family. We have our fights, our squabbles, our differences, but we always come together. We forgive each other, we love each other. You know, um, we have got to have a close family relationship, you know, with the Lord. We've got to get our families involved. And I'm walking over to another a little fountain here at the Grand Arizona Grand Resort. It's beautiful. So we are working on praying continuously. We pray without ceasing. We get together and we pray. But when we leave here, we continue to pray continuously. You know, the word of God tells us to go to Matthew chapter six, verse nine. Well, 
when we go there, we learn to pray the way that Jesus said to, for us to pray. And if we read that more uh, after uh, verse 9, it goes on to tell us that we need to pray in a prayer closet. We need to pray where God is listening in secret. He's listening to us pray. The Word of God tells us that He hears us when we pray. And when and we're praying to Him privately, okay? So, but what about when you leave home? How are you gonna pray continuously if you don't have your prayer closet with you? Well, you do. If you've been with us, you know that your prayer closet is right here. Whatever we're thinking, the Lord knows it. He doesn't probe your mind all the time to see what you're thinking. If you're talking to him, he's listening. So he knows our heart and he knows what we're gonna say before we say it. So it's so wonderful that we can talk to the Lord in private. He wants a close and personal relationship with you. So you're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pray but this time when we pray, we're gonna pray in a more private way, in a more um, close and personal way, with using our relationship with the Lord. <laughs> you know, when the Bible lets us know that we can pray for all kind of things. You know, we can pray for whatever it is that we need to ask the Lord about. We can ask the Lord for money. You need more finances. If you ask your friends for money, you ask your neighbors, you might ask a bank for a loan. You know, the Word of God doesn't want us to have loans. He wants us to have more than enough, more than we can ask or think. And you know, some of you, some of us can, can um, think of a lot of things that we like. We can really think of some things, you know that. So the Lord wants us to go to Him and ask Him. Yeah, if you need money, ask the Lord for money. He loves us. He wants you to have more than enough, okay? So you need money, let's ask him in prayer. If you need a vehicle, you need a car, you want a brand new car, whatever it is you want, you talk to the Lord about it because he is big. He is a big God and he owns everything. He will give it to you. Just ask him. You have to believe. The Lord will give you what you're asking for, okay? If you need uh, strength for your family to get together, the, thing, the same thing I'm praying for, if that's what you need, ask the Lord for that. He will give you what you're asking for. It feels so good out here in the morning. I'm so happy that I get to, we get together when I uh, record this, it's in the morning because it's so comfortable. There's a small breeze coming through. It in a couple of, well, in about a month from now, we're going to need a coat here in Arizona. If you come to visit, staying at the Arizona Grand Resort, you might not need a coat in a, if you come here in a, couple, in a month or so. But we Arizonans, we Phoenicians, we are going to need a coat. You're going to see us walking around in a coat. But let's go ahead and say our close and personal prayer to the Lord. You can talk to him about anything, any, any, anything, every, every, everything. He loves you. He wants to hear from you. He wants to have a close and personal relationship with you, with me, with us. <laughs> we have got to pray because it is part of um, the armor of God. That is praying for all the saints in supplication. Okay, so let's pray for all the saints in supplication. You know, some things, some people are going through are really, really tough struggles. So we want to make sure that we um, pray for them because a lot of people don't know the way out of their situations. So let's give them, let's talk to the Lord so we can give them assistance by asking the Lord to help them, okay? So let's go ahead and have our more close and personal prayer, okay? Father in heaven, we are your humble children. We humbly approach your heavenly throne. We thank you today, Father, for this wonderful, wonderful day that you've made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Father. 
we thank you that we walk in the fruit of the Spirit and that we wear your complete suit of armor. There's no one like you, Father. We know there's no one like you. We thank you for your mercy. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you for your mercy. Your mercy endures forever. And Father, we want to thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. You know I love your goodness. <laughs> love your goodness, Father. Thank you for your goodness. And Father, we want to thank you that we continue to take in more information about your word and that we apply it to our lives. We thank you that we walk in the fruit of the Spirit, which are aspects that we have inside of us. And we thank you for taking out the aspects, the, the learned behaviors that we have been doing. We thank you for taking that away from us. We thank you that we wear your complete suit of armor so that we can stand in the evil day. Father, we can withstand all, not some, but all of the fiery darts of the wicked. Father, we thank you for your armor, the armor of God. Father, we thank you that you have given us angels. Yes, we thank you for the angels, Father. We thank you that we have our own individual guardian angel. Father, we thank you for that guardian angel. Hallelujah. And Father, we also thank you for the angels that come and minister to us when we just don't know the way out. We thank you, Lord, for ministering angels. Thank you, Lord, for ministering angels. And Father, we also want to thank you for those angels that battle for us in the spiritual realm. We thank you for warring angels. Hallelujah. Thank you for the hedge of protection that you keep around us. And Father, sometimes things just go wrong in our lives and we have circumstances that we need to come out of. However we got into the circumstances, Father, we're thanking you. We're asking you for forgiveness. And we know that we have to pick ourselves up and move on and just continue to walk on the road that leads us to eternal life. Father, we thank you for continuing to send angels to encamp around our children's schools. Hallelujah. We, we shouldn't have to pray for that. But Father, we, we, as we are living in wicked, evil days. These days are, are just hard to deal with. And some people are committing suicide over money. And Father, we know that that is a piece of paper that has been created to um, control people. Father, we thank you that we have the knowledge, we have the understanding to know that we, you will supply our needs. And so, Father, we are not putting money before you or anything. But some people need money to pay their bills. Some people need more, excuse me, Father, we need more to pay our bills, to buy food, to pay our, our uh, uh, utilities. So we're asking for those things to be covered, Father. We know that you want us to have more than enough. And we're thanking you for more than enough more than we could ask or think. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for traveling grace because some people are getting ready to leave, go to work, and just go out and just start their day. Some people are still at home sleeping. Father, we're asking you that you bless each and every one of us. And thank you for traveling grace. Father, we thank you for watching over everyone especially those that make decisions in our lives that that are detrimental to us we're thanking you for leading them and make having them make the right decisions for us father there's no one like you we love you with our whole mind with our whole heart with our whole soul and with all of our strength hallelujah i'm marjorie janvier and this is mj's i love me some me you know i love me some me is a positive affirmation would you say that with me we're just gonna give ourselves a hug and we're gonna say, I love me some me. Are you ready? Here we go. I love me some me. Mm. Now you've got to mean that. You've got to be good to yourself because maybe no one else is gonna come and be good to you. Be good to yourself. And you know, we're our own selves worst enemies. So we have got to learn to forgive ourselves. Whatever you've done, when you ask God to forgive you, go ahead and forgive yourself because God has already thrown it in the, um, uh, in, in the, into forgetfulness. He's not gonna bring it up to you again. Now, some of your family, your friends, or people that you know might come and try to bring those things up to you, things that happened in the past. That's not God. He is not going to do that. 
He gives us the power of love and a sound mind. Hallelujah. We, I just love our Father, and I know you do too. That's why we're here together, strengthening our walk with the Lord. We are getting close and personal with the Lord. And he really wants us to. He wants us to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. But right now, we're having a prayer of agreement. You know, the word of God tells us that one can chase a thousand and two can chase 10,000. How many are we chasing? And we're talking about demons. The word of God says we can, one can chase a thousand and two can chase 10,000. And whether you're here morning, noon, evening, night, whatever time you're here, go ahead and say your personal prayer. This is a prayer of agreeance. We are chasing many, 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 many. We're chasing many. So go ahead and chase them with us. And you know that's a part of the armor of God. When we pray for others, we pray for the other saints. We pray in supplication for them. That strengthens our armor and we are going to be stronger and no one is going to be able to put a wedge between us and the Lord, between you and the Lord, between me and the Lord. They can put a wedge between us. So let's go ahead and continue to always pray in supplication for all the saints. Continue to wear your complete suit of armor, wear the complete suit of armor and continue to walk in the fruit of the spirit. And that is just love. We are walking in love. You know, God is love. And if God is for you, who can be against you? These cars are coming around here pretty fast. <laughs> I gotta be careful out here. I wanna walk back down to the, the main entrance. Oh Lord, I've gotta go to the restroom. There's not one, one around here. <laughs> oh! oh my goodness, I fell. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me get up. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What did I? Oh, I skinned my arm. Yuck. Ah, oh, I've fallen down. I'm going to get up. Oh, the phone is still working. You guys are still with me? Uh, I don't know if I can get up from here. I need help. I've fallen. I can't get up. Oh, get to my knees. I hope no car comes around here this corner too fast uh. oh wow uh. okay because they scoot around there so fast I'm okay I'm okay oh that hurt uh. anyway let's move on I'll cry later <laughs> oh let me see my hand is a little red right there from falling but you know you guys are with me pray for me make sure I'm not make sure I'm okay because I did fall um, and these cars are coming so fast through here I'm so happy not uh, not a car came through when I fell because they probably would have ran me over <laughs> they probably would have run me over anyway let's continue with with um, strengthening our walk with the Lord Ooh, I have to use the restroom. I think I, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But anyway, let's walk down to the sign here. Oh my goodness. That's embarrassing. I fell over a little hump there. <sighs> Cars are supposed to be walking. I'm driving there. I'm not supposed to be walking there. But I think I'm okay. A few little scrapes. I think I'll be okay. You know, uh, um, Enchiladas is a restaurant here in Phoenix, and it's right next to the Arizona Grand Resort, and they have really, really excellent food. Um, I've gone there a few times, and the food is delicious, and they do give you really huge portions. <laughs> ah, the walk from the fountain down to where I'm going is a, probably about... Oh, maybe 500 feet. Anyway, we'll be there in a moment. And when you come to Arizona, you'll know what it looks like. You'll know when you get there, you'll see how it looks. Um, 
So I'm inviting you down to Phoenix, Arizona to the Arizona Grand Resort. And you'll have a wonderful stay. I mean, the people are so nice here. In Phoenix, people are, are laid back. They are um, easy to talk to and uh, just nice people overall. So we're almost there. You can hear the cars close to a uh, Baseline Road. See if you can see that sign that says Baseline Road. Oh, it's gonna be backwards, huh? Yeah, it's backwards. Why is it backwards? Okay. I have no idea. So it's on Baseline Road and um, Arizona Grand Parkway. It's right across the street from Fry's Electronics. So we're back where we started from, the Arizona Grand Resort. Okay, where's the sign? It's right there. Hey, it's backwards. <laughs> but I'm telling you what it says. It says Arizona Grand Resort. So I love you so much, but what's most important is that God loves you. So you have a wonderful and blessed day and make sure you tell me God bless you. Send, put a text, you know, text the, the letters over here and um, say, I, um, God bless you. Because when you say God bless you, it heaps hot coals on top of someone's head and it melts away those unwanted things that are inside, that things that are not um, letting you get close to the Lord. So make sure you say, God bless you. And I'm gonna say it to you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Melt those things away that you do not need. And we're asking God to replace those things. We are strengthening our walk with the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. God is so good to us. He loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son. He sent his only begotten son to die for our sins. He loves us so much. And you know, Jesus was beaten until he was unrecognizable. He was unrecognizable. He loves us so much. So when you turn to Romans 10, 9 and 10, it tells you, you will be saved. Read Romans 10, 9 and 10. So if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you will be saved. Didn't say you might be saved, it said you would be saved. Because if you believe a man was dead for three days and came back to life, you're gonna find out more about that man. And that's gonna lead you to eternal life. I'm Marjorie Janvier, and this is MJ's I Love Me Some Me. You know I love you, but what's most important is that God loves you. So have a wonderful, blessed day. Hallelujah!